Happy Halloween! Are you holding up, partner? It's our last night, Deja. I know. And our last Halloween. I know. This could be the last night of the pumpkin patch ever. We're going to college, Josie, not Mars. You'll be back. Yeah? When? We'll be away at school for at least the next four pumpkin patch seasons. And it's not like college sends you home for a Halloween break. You can come over the weekend. The patch will still be here. It won't be the same. Which is why we're going to make tonight the best Halloween ever. Asia, the Sukatosh hut is this way. I uh, know. I've worked there for three years. So, where are you going? The Pop House. What? Josie, when you look back at your time at the patch, what's the one thing you're going to regret? Letting Meredith Gomez win MVPPP last September. <sighs> You couldn't help that. You have walking phenomena. I could still walk. Okay, what's the other thing you're going to regret? Oh, the fudge girl. In three years, I feel like you could have come up with a better nickname. She works in the fudge shop. I'm well aware. Tonight is your last chance to talk to her. I can't talk to her, Deja. You know I can't. Josie, you have to. You've been mooning over her loudly and at length for three years. You can't just never talk to her. I can. I will. That's the plan, actually. That's not the plan. What are you talking about? Why are you making your unstoppable face? You and I are working at the Pop Palace tonight. Jane and Aiden traded shifts with us. Is that allowed? It's totally allowed. But the Pie Palace right is... Right across from the foot shop. Deja, no. Josiah Templeton, you are a timid little bunny rabbit who spent three years hiding down in the Sucatash hut for many hope of romance. I wouldn't say hiding. Fortunately, bunny boy, your best friend is looking out for you. I'm not going to let you miss the last hay rock ride in the night. Is that a metaphor? It is. Tonight, on your dinner break, you are going to talk to that girl. And she is going to see how cute and nice you are. You're going to take your shot. I don't know. Don't let me down, Josie. I have to get Jaden and Aiden $20 and three free hot dog coupons to trade ships. Did you tell them why? I told them I left pie, which is true. I can't decide which pie to try. Was that the last of the sour cream raisin? I'll check. You know, if we reorganize the pie pantry, we can make this whole place more efficient. Stop campaigning for MVPPP. The season's is over. It was never a campaign. It was a lifestyle. Well, we're not here for any pie palace pantry improvement projects, presently. I love when you alter it. We're here to salvage your romantic future. T minus five minutes, by Why the way. are you putting me up to this? You never cared about a romantic future before. I already told you. I'm your friend. And friends don't let friends live small lives. I like my small life. Then why do you complain so much about spending it alone? I don't complain. I'm wistful, contemplative. I'm the sort of guy who likes to reminisce about what might have been. T minus four minutes. I'm not ready. I don't know what to How say. How about hi? I'm Josiah. Talk a lot about your face. That's exactly what I can't say. Hi, I'm Josiah. Memorize your schedule. Asia, seriously, I okay, need your help. Okay, okay. Let's role play this. Pretend I'm super fudge and just start a conversation. Okay, um, hi, I'm Josiah. Hi, I'm the Fudge Shopping Girl, known to my friends as Marcy. Marcy. Maybe don't repeat her name dreamily like she's just handing you the one ring. Right, right, it's nice to meet you, Marcy. Think I've seen you around? Don't you sell awkward casserole on the wrong side of the miniature train house? Yes. Um, I talk a lot about your face. <laughs> Let's try this again. This time, I'll be you and you be Elma Fudge. But I don't know her. I don't know what she's saying. Just roll with it. Hi, I'm Josiah. Suddenly I have a southern accent. Hi, I'm Josiah. Hi, I'm Marcy, I guess. Look on the other side of the park and I've always meant to talk to you. Well, that's good. I should write that down. I know tonight is our last night and you're working, but maybe you'd like to hang out sometime. I'm a real nice guy and I swear I'll stop acting like such a dork after you get to know me. Should I say all that? Maybe don't say that last part. Ugh, it doesn't matter what I say. Why would you say yes? Why would she even want to know me? Asia, did I lose you? Look at all this pie I never tried, and tonight is my very last night to do it. I should have planned this better. I don't have to do this just because you're telling me to. Everything about a friendship so far says otherwise. I'm my own man. You forced my hand, Josie. As a Zook Dutch Hut ship manager, I'm ordering you. You're pulling Rick on me. We take turns being managers so that we can both put it on our resumes. Well, tonight's my night. Go get it, champ. Seize the day. Bring me back Spudge. That isn't a metaphor. Thanks, hon. What can I do you for? Is, um, is Marcy here? She's filling out of the s'mores pit tonight. The whole patch is swamped. Can I help you? Uh, no. Thanks. Oh, no. 
She rejected you? She wasn't there to reject me. She's working out of the smallest pit tonight. The smallest pit? How does this girl get all the best gigs? Anyway, thanks for trying. Josie, are you really giving up because of a change of venue? Well, what am I supposed to do? Run down there as soon as the patch closes? Go now! I don't have time! You have 20 minutes! Will you come with me? To the smallest pit? Always. It's kind of cool walking through the patch like regular people. We always said we were going to come on our often. And we never did. Oh, Josie, look, caramel apples. We have to get one. Do we have time? This is my last chance to have a double dip Granny Smith. We'll make time. You can always come back to the patch some weekend as a guest, remember? Maybe we should stop by the Succotash Hut while we're out. Just checking on things. We really don't have time for that. <gasps> Had me. This is my ex. Which one? Jess, don't look. Which Jess? The sire. Deja! Jess, hey! Hey, Jess. Hi, Jessiah. How's life with the pony go around? <sighs> oh, you know, they put that chili fry stand across from us, and now people try to feed the ponies chili fries. It's really unfortunate. Ponies are vegetarians. <sighs> There's no chili fry stand? I stopped by the Succotash Hut earlier to say goodbye, but you weren't there. It was a real scene. What kind of scene? The patch won't be the same without you next year, Deja. <sighs> All the best people are seniors. Josie and I are going to come back next year's guests. We'll have to stop by for a pony ride. Nobody over seven is allowed to ride the ponies. I was just kidding, Jess. Oh. <sighs> right. You're always so funny. Right, so I'm going to buy this caramel apple. Okay. Goodbye, Deja. Have a beautiful life. Thanks, Jess. Right back at you. How did you date Jess? She's so not smart. She's plenty smart. She just... More of a pony person than a people person. What did she mean that the Succotash Hut is a real scene? Probably that it's just busy. The whole park is a mop scene tonight. Hey, stop. stop! Whoa! I can't believe that kid stole my caramel apple! I can't believe you tried to follow him onto the tracks! I'm going to end that little twerp. Yeah, you are. But first I'm going to get another caramel apple. So we both agreed that Mission Fudge Girl is a dead end. <sighs> Curse my still sacrifice of nature. Come on. Thanks for saving my life, I guess. The train was going pretty slow. I think you would have lived. <laughs>